is something that um, I put together with the, with, uh, inspired by my good friend Todd Johnson. And this is called a guitar player's morning workout. And I want to introduce you simply to it. Uh, it's basically you get up in the morning and you put on this track and you play in time what I'm going to show you. And basically we're just going to play major scales and we're going to play major scales around the cycle of force and we're going to use um, just the E-shaped major scale for now. So the E-shaped major scale in the key of G is simp quite simply this. Okay, just, you're, it's so simple, isn't it? How simple can it get? Well, it's simple. You know something? I was playing guitar and actually doing recording sessions as a kid in high school, and then when I went to college, it wasn't until I got to college that I learned a major scale on the guitar. Isn't that weird? It's like, oh, I guess, yeah, okay. But do I really want to make it sound like, you know, major scale sounds like opera or something. You know, who plays that? I want to go, you know, I don't want to do that. But the major scale is from what everything else comes from. It's funny, I was just watching a, a video or I just actually just heard as I was passing by this little video. And uh, basically it was uh, saying, oh, you know, night, you know, don't play your scales. You don't need your scales, blah, 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 all this crap about, yeah, how scales are bad for you. I'll tell you what, Joe Pass could play a scale. Howard Roberts could play a scale. <laughs> You know, and they were creative guitar players. So it's good for you. Just get your hands in gear. So here is a track. Let's see how what the volume is like. Ah, yes. Isn't that a beautiful little sound? A little... Bossa Nova, it's at 105 beats per minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the major scale up and back in time around the cycle of fourths. So you ready for this? Of course you are. Three, four. Now the key is C. Obviously, you got to know the cycle of force. E flat. A flat. D flat. Coming up is the key of B. Key of E. Coming back to the end, key of G. And it continued. Okay, so 
What does that do for you? Number one, you're playing in time. You got to get that feeling of playing in time and locking in with the rhythm section. Second of all, it gets you switching keys quickly with the hand movement, right? When you play the guitar, you're switching all over the place, okay? So that gets you, gets that going. Now, it also gets you learning the keys, learning the fretboard, um, learning your shape. Then, of course, you can switch shapes. And as we go through, there's a whole series of these morning workouts. They're found on the, uh, the uh, Guitar College Library. They're found in there, and you can go in there and get them all. There it is. See, there I am right there. There, there they all are. See that there? So, um, so then you get into a whole bunch of different other keys, scales, and all that good stuff. Now, obviously, if you have the Band in the Box program, uh, you can just pick up the uh, file and you can increase the tempos if you want, or whatever. I wonder if I could do it that pass. Let's see. Oh. do okay but another thing you know any kind of thing you're well start on the program start on the morning workout program and it'll do you a world of good hi rich here again i just wanted to say thanks for watching and if you liked it hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the guitar videos i put out each week if you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. And if you want to learn jazz, hey, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. You'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.